Okay, so Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon needs to stop the capping on Vlad. I feel like it's gone too far with the whole Eminem capping situation. I feel like there's too much lies now. I feel like you're getting caught in your lies. You're doing too many interviews. You're doing other stuff. Like you were on the TI podcast saying, you know, Eminem's one of the goats, one of the greatest rappers. None of that stuff stops him from being the greatest and blah, blah, blah. He's still on his greats list. And then on Vlad, you're saying, you know, just because you rhyme, man, man, man. It's like, you know, you're not one of the best and trying to say go bar for bar. Nick Cannon, this versus his stuff. And it's like, Nick Cannon, stop it. Stop it. You need some people in your corner. It's like people on Wild and Out all the time tell you you're a garbage rapper. Everybody in the world knows you're trash. You can't rap. Why are you going to go bar for bar with M after you said he's one of the goats and then on Vlad you're, you're capping and acting like, you know, because he rhymes syllables he's not good at all? Like, which one is it? Which one is it? And then you want to, like, for me, it's like Nick Cannon. Why does Nick Cannon continue to rap? Like, for me, it's like, it's cool. We everybody supports Nick Cannon when it comes to the black business, the black ownership, uh, everything he's doing social activist wise. They're just the black causes and everything. We we're, we're we're all with that. We're all here for that. But when you try to say Eminem is you know coming for you know our daughters, our wives, and dragging you know the culture and doing X, Y, and Z, like no, he came for your ex wife. That's it. I feel I hate when people try to say. Okay, it's one person's one person has a problem. One person that's black has a problem. And all of a sudden, it's the whole community's problem, and someone's coming for the whole community. And it's X, Y, and Z. It's not none of that. It's just Eminem versus you and your ex-wife. Regardless of who's right and who's wrong for the initial beef, it's like to try to drag everybody into it and make it some social activist thing and some black versus white and Eminem culture vulturing shit. It's just kind of like whoa. I feel like where are we going with this? I feel like a lot of this shit is, you know, uh, instigated by Vlad. Of course, Vlad knows what the fuck he's doing. He's getting those clicks. He's getting that, you know, that that media push, that branding out there, that, you know, that marketing, those views. He's getting that attention. But at the same time, and it's continual attention, it's a reoccurring topic just speaking about this one thing. So it's good. I get it for his content wise, but for... Nick Cannon to just keep going on and just lying through his teeth and getting caught in his lies and talking shit about Eminem. It's like, okay, we clearly know that Eminem's one of the goats and you're one of the worst rappers. We don't want to listen to you rap. We we fucked with all your other endeavors, Nick. Like, you know, but at the end of the day, when it comes to rapping, like, just leave this shit alone. And then Eminem came out and said that he was never opposed to saying that he was a guest in the house of hip hop. He was just... He, he, Eminem gives a lot of respect to a lot of rappers and a lot of greats, but certain people like Lord Jamar feel like he's not respectful enough. So that's where their problem comes from. But that that's a whole different story. That has nothing to do with Nick Cannon and his whole shit. I feel like Nick Cannon kind of tries to feed off of things Lord Jamar uses as ammunition for his beef against Eminem. But I don't know. It's a lot of capping by Nick Cannon, to be completely real. Mm -hmm.